Good morning. So as you can see from the sign, we are at Cadamur Forest, which is on the, hang on, south side of Peebles. I hope I've got that right. I'm sorry if I've not. It's the smallest wood in the, sorry, smallest forest in the Tweed Valley. Great for dog walking, but there is some absolutely superb tracks here. And I think it's a little bit of a secret weapon in the Tweed Valley arsenal of trails. Um, I do really honestly think it's the best part two for our off-piece mountain biking series. Um, I think the trails are a little bit of a step up from the ones that we rode at Tress the other day. I think it's a perfect stepping stone to get onto some of those harder tracks and uh, maybe, you know, get you a step closer to progression to golfy. So let's get some. So the beauty of this place really is that we are, it's quite short climbs, quite short descents. It's quite a few of them. Uh, very, very lappable. So you can spend like half a day here nicely and, you know, ride five or six downhills or you could do a full day and double up and we haven't rode all of them. Um, but we've rode quite a few and they are all really good quality trails. Really good fun. Hopefully uh, there's not been any forest damage or anything which has cut some of them off. We'll, we'll only find that out today if we ride them. So. <laughs> so we've chosen a slightly more meandering climb today to get to the first track. Feel free to take a more direct route. Another misty morning for us. Okay, so we're at the top of our climb and we're heading into our first descent. It's not very clear, uh, as you can see from here. I'm not sure how much this is getting ridden. It's red graded on trail forks. It's called Swooper Duper. Potentially a little bit of trail growth, but it should definitely be a little bit less steep than the others. So it should be a good starting track for us to have a go on today. Okay, Swooper Duper. Ah, taking my time down here because it looks pretty overgrown to be honest but oh yeah some roots to contend with yeah it's not looking like it's getting road a lot the other tracks in all fairness do look like they're getting road okay see it's very skinny <laughs> very skinny indeed but still I've got a smile on my face guys so something's right <laughs> Yeah, hopefully there's not a big tree down, which is why it's not being ridden. Oh, oof. My apologies, some pretty bad riding there. Oh, nice, nice burns. Yeah, do you know what? That's fine. That's a great little warm up track. And we're through. Woo. Nice. Boogles. <laughs> Harem Scarum, this is red graded. We're just riding this for a whoa short while just to get us into Kamikaze Trail. Oh no. Okay, so this is the small little climb to get us into Kamikaze. Whew. Totally the wrong gear. Pushing through. <laughs> Okay, help me, Kazi. Nice little drop there off a root. Whoa, put your roots there across the climbing walking path, should I say? Whoop. 
Yeah, very rooty. Making it nice and tech if it's wet. Oh shit. Something wheel just suddenly got. That's pretty scary. <laughs> so it's proving it's quite steep. It's proving quite tech with the wet roots. Imagine in the dry it's I you said that about any trail, couldn't you? But yeah, imagine it's much easier to tackle in the dry. But it's it's a fun track and it's definitely a step up from what we showed you in Tress the other week. There's plenty here to test your bike control, particularly your braking skills. You've just got to take your time and not break too much through those slick, greasy, slippy, stony, rooty sections. Couple of over the ground bits, sending you a bit wild there, and we're back. So we're doing Danger Mouse into Penfold now. So we're dropping in, fork right, and then we're turning left. Correct. Let's see how we get on. Let's do it. Oh, there's the right. Way, oh, swoopy, nice. A little bit of growth from those trees. Oh, sending me sideways there, guys. Yeah. Overgrowth is an issue on these trails. That's a fairly chunky drop. And that is a nicely angled one. Oh, yeah, it's tech, it's very tech, and it's quite steep. I missed the turn in. Okay, this one is Baron Greenback, which is red graded. Hopefully, be a little bit easier than some of the ones that we accidentally chose today for our beginner off piste <laughs> part two. Turned out to be a lot more techy than we remembered it being. Possibly it's conditions driven, I would say. Roots up here are evil in the wet. Just to get your get your flow on, tech flow. Still plenty of roots in there, challenging your grip. There we go. Nice. Try and pump my way through this instead of pedaling. Come on, come on, good. <laughs> I'm gonna put a few strokes in. a little wheel wash so we're gonna scrap the route because we've done two tracks now which first one that we did DH upper Cadermure DH upper was properly overgrown and just didn't flow at all and it wasn't worth the climb there was quite a steep climb to get up to that so that was a wrong turn really and then we've just done danger mouse into Penfold and the middle section got very steep and I think we just feel like it's maybe throwing in 
throwing a little bit too much in the deep end for part two of uh, you know beginner off piste so we've got two more tracks to ride we're going to record those and then we'll just put a list um, of tracks up and in what order that they should be ridden in the description so apologies that it's not a gpx coherent route Okay, this one is VTT. Sorry, RTT. My God. I seem to remember it just being really nice and sort of quite tight in the trees, which it is. Some really nice corners in here. The gradient is very steep. Nicely steep, not too much. Yeah, good gradient. Very good for practicing your bike control skills. Little wall through there. Same again here. A few little greasy rocks to contend with, guys. Yeah. Flat section. Turn on through there. Oh, bit of off camberness there to just. And then it looks like we're through to the end. Nandjury rocks there. Next one, parental guidance. Whoa, hey! Oh, some off camber, off camber routes there to send you a bit west. Oh, super tight in the trees, lovely. Woo! Back end's getting skippy there. In a nice controllable way though, so. It ended up being fun instead of scary. Oh, shoot. Yeah, some roots in the wrong places there. Oh. Okay. <laughs> A little bit fern takeover. Can't see what's under my wheels. Oh. There's plenty of roots under there that you can't see. Just need to sort of let it roll a bit. Oh. Taking all your intuition to get you down here. You can't see what's coming. Yeah. Oh, big compression to finish. Okay, so that's us done for this edit. Lindsay's making the coffees. And. Um, Look, it was wet today, really wet, very greasy. Uh, it was kind of storm weekend. It was orange weather warnings in many parts of Scotland this weekend. So yeah, a bit of a mess. Um, I honestly think what we rode today is the next step in off piece, but I think we found some of the tracks today and we're kind of coming down going, these are probably a bit tasty in these conditions for what we were hoping to achieve. So we're going to put a list of tracks that we think it suits off piece for beginners part two. The danger racing is painful. They had a really steep section in the middle and it was super greasy and I don't want anyone getting in hot water. I think it's it felt like a, a step up really. I think Kedemur still is a secret weapon in your off piece arsenal for getting good and practicing and, and there's some definitely some steeper tracks here and I think that's why it makes sense to come and explore this after you've tried some of those easier tracks over at Glentress that we did in the last edit which was part one. So I urge you to come and check this place out, it's awesome. Um, please, if you like what we're doing guys and you're enjoying the content and you're getting something from this, then please subscribe. It really does make a difference to us guys. It makes us feel like we're doing the right thing. Um, throw us a like if you enjoyed it and we'll catch you in the next edit.